is I just use the, the GPT formula, um, GPT functionality. And uh, if you are not aware of this, then you must install the extension. Let's first show you the extension. This is the extension. It's called GPT for Sheets and Docs. Okay. And what this does is it basically brings chat GPT inside your Google Sheets, but you can also use it on Google Docs. So either of those two. And um, let's see. If we select GPT, um, we say create a list of holidays in April. As just an example, um, you can you can try different things here. You have to use a prompt. So it should typically create like a list of holidays. Now this is uh, just to show you an, a sample. And um, let's say that I'm an e-commerce brand and I want to run a campaign on each of these days. I would just select underscore table. Now GPT underscore table, what it does is it should be able to you know, split it into a table format. So now we have this on the table format. And then we have the social media, let's say Instagram post. So this is where the magic happens. I just say GPT, write an Instagram post caption or, and then I can select A2 because A2 is Easter Sunday. And hopefully you should write an Instagram post caption for Easter Sunday. So right, this is the Instagram post caption for Easter Sunday. And I'm just gonna wrap the text here. Let's make this in bold, add some color. And then we just drag this down to the to the other dates. Of course, you have to verify these dates and I'm just using this as a sample. I would suggest having the day and date from your end and then having GPT write this. So now you have the post captions for um, design instructions. Let's say we are designing social media posts. We have a designer. So I'm gonna make one for design instructions. And then I'm gonna say GPT, write design instructions for the Instagram post. For, and then I'm gonna say comma A2. So this is the format. And uh, hopefully this will then generate the design instructions for Easter Sunday. And once it does, we can just drag it down for the other days. So this is sort of like very powerful because if you are if you just ask it to generate all the holidays in 2023, it could be an issue. But if you have your own days, you can just tell the days and um, you can generate the whole year's calendar with this. So it's pretty detailed instructions for the designer. Choose a bright and uh, you know cheerful color scheme that reflects the spirits of Easter. Use high quality images of Easter eggs, etc. Very good. So I'm going to drag this down, and then just drag it to um, all of the days in April. Yeah. So I think more, we'll waste a lot of time in these design instructions, coordinating with the designer. The reason why I do this on Google Sheets is because I can just share the sheet again with my designer, with my social media manager. They can just copy paste the captions. The designer can design something. So all of the design instructions are here. My Instagram post is here. Um, the dates are here. I haven't really prepped, but usually what I would suggest is have a new tab just for prepping. And this tab for uh, prompt, yeah, you know, for the content. So you can add more information about the brand, et cetera. But right now I'm just, you know, showing you an example. So now this is really powerful, right? So you can have, you can download a Google sheet with a list of holidays from somewhere for 2023, and then just ask it to create all of your captions, design instructions. You can do that for video ideas, YouTube ideas, LinkedIn ideas, all of that. So that's the social media side. I also use it for cold outreach inside of uh, Google Sheets. So I'm building a startup right now in Southeast Asia and I want to raise funding. One thing that I can do is I can say chat GPT underscore table, um, make a list of VCs in Southeast Asia with the names of their partners. 
with the name of the partner, right? The VC partner. So of course, I mean, I would suggest you start with your own list. I mean, you would probably have a list of VCs if you're raising funding as a startup, but if you don't, I mean, this is not something I would recommend, but if you, if you do have a list, you can just start with the list. Uh, but just for the sake of example, I'm trying to get the list from GPT itself. So this is the list. We have the name of the VC. We have the partner name. Just gonna make it in bold here, give it some background. Um, and then I have the um, LinkedIn message. So I'm gonna reach out to all of these people on LinkedIn and I'm gonna say GPT, write a custom LinkedIn. Actually, even before that, I want to make sure that GPT knows about the about the VC description about, so I'm gonna say GPT, write a description about write a short description about better to be more specific you can even give it the number of words um yes you can use it for seo here you can make a list of keywords you can make a list of post ideas you can make a list of content outlines you can even write blogs um inside google sheets you can do everything inside google sheets itself for a2 okay so let's just make sure that GPT knows about Monk Hill Ventures, Golden Gate Ventures, Jungle Ventures, whatever it is. It has good information about them. So, so I know Golden Gate Ventures. I know this is sort of, uh, you know, what they do. So I can verify it that way. And then I'm going to just, it is free. Uh, I have not paid for this. And then I'm going to drag it down and make sure that it understands. It writes a description about each of, each of these VCs. Yes, Akhil, I have not paid for this. I think if I pay, I um, you know, it it should be better. <laughs> it could be faster. But I know it's taking some time to load. Thank you so much for joining the one um message I just saw. Okay, cool. So now it has all of the information about the particular VC, which is great. And I can verify this. Once I've verified this, I can say, okay, this this sounds pretty good, you know, like it has good information. So it can actually type my message now. Write, write a custom outreach message for my connection invite on LinkedIn too. Because typically with VCs, you know, I, I first add them on LinkedIn. That's like the first thing. I don't send them cold email directly. That's just how I do, but um, to A2, right? So it's going to write the LinkedIn message. Let's see. Okay, so it's writing it to A2. I am sorry, my bad. So B2, because we are going to write it to the people, not to Golden Gate Ventures. Yeah, I think it would be nice if we then just pick one person, right? And then for each person, we can copy paste the LinkedIn message. And there's a way to do that as well. But you know, for the sake of example, this is how it works. Yeah. So, dear blah blah blah, tick 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 tick. Um, write a custom outreach message along with along with my startup pitch. I didn't like the response, so I'm going to prep it a little bit more. Along with my startup pitch for the connection invite to the VC, I will send on LinkedIn. Yeah, it's it's not the best language that I've used, but you know, chat GPT is smarter. So let's see what it comes up with now. Good to see that, you know, all of the messages are slightly different, which is a good sign, especially with, um, you know, what I do with cold email outreach is that I, I let chat GPT write the first paragraph. Now this is the one that I like, right? So allow me to introduce, um, my startup, which is focused on this, my team has this, we are currently taking, seeking funding to take our startup to the next level, et cetera, your name. Now, of course, with the prepping, you can also prep by explaining all, all about your startup and what you do, et cetera. So one way that I use this, this is just to show you how to, how to do this, but one way that I use this is I actually, um, you know, would, 
use it to write the first paragraph of the cold email outreach, which is personalized. And then the rest of my cold outreach is more or less the same. So I use it for email campaigns as well. And um, this was social media. Great. So we have one minute left. Um, so I could not answer all of the questions, but I think I answered most of them. 